at in 187 Kevin Acres. Good news is the second ambulance is just returning to the track, so we do have a full complement of ambulances again. That's uh, great. So we're trying to pick up time, obviously, after this slightly delayed start, and we will get them out as quickly as we possibly can. Rob Fortune will be number 10 in this race. Good to see Rob back. He was over, in fact, for the pre-75 championship. which should have been being run next week at Melbourne. That, unfortunately, has been cancelled because of the foot and mouth. Away we go, then, with race number two. Another heat of the pre-75. And it's Neil Rutherford League, but Rob Fortune goes round the outside. Phil Crosswell holds his third place. Ian Goodridge is in fourth place and trying to work his way to the third. It's Rob Fortune. He's just going on the back of race for his first time. Neil Wadham holds that second place. Ian Goodfridge on his shoulder now racing for that second place position. Wadham holds the inside. Goodfridge trying to come round the outside as Rob Fortune is the clear leader then. But Goodfridge goes through in the second. It's Wadham in third. Cresswell is in four. 187 holds his fifth place position. That's Kevin Akers who holds that fifth spot. That's the top five. And it is Rob Fortune coming well. Dog was racing over here on the grass track. We showed he's lost none of his skill. He's got a big lead now in the second heat of the pre-75. Fortune leads it, and Goodford in second. Wallop's got the third. Crestfall in four. Acres in five. Number 70, Bruce Eddy's in six. That's the top six. They got the back straight once again there. And Rob Fortune up to the Norway away. Still as Ian Goodridge still holding that second place from Neil Wallops in third. Change of vision, Kevin Akers working his way to the field. has gone through into fourth place. They go on the lap four this time. Fortune leads it. Goodridge in second. Wallop in third. It's Crestwell in four. Akers now gets through into fourth place. And looking for that third place of Neil Wallops. They go on the back to make 40. Come on, Tom. This will remain that the third, fourth, and fifth places as Rob Fortune returns to racing with a spectacular winning ride. Rob Fortune wins it. Ian Guthridge is going to get the second place. The Neil Wadham in third. Kevin Akers in four. Phil Cresswell in five. Bruce Eddy in sixth place. Race two, sponsored by Jeff Mann. The win for number ten, Rob Fortune. Second, 174, Ian Guthridge. And third, 204, Neil Wadhams. 187, 105, and number 70. Race three, 250 solos. Delete number one, Chris Archer's 114. Add in, 121, Mike Godwin. 227, Stephen Palmer. And 69, Richard Worry. Those are all additions to race number three. Where we go then with race three, first heat of the 257 of the point, David Knowles, the Scott, the advantage for number 69, Richard Worley going through in the second place, that's the top as they go, in that top corner, 41st Thomas, David Knowles the leader, we're looking for Rob Bradley, he's in the end, he's number 60, but not Rob Bradley, that's in his time, and David Knowles, Legion of the Pits corner, 41st Tom. Change of vision going on towards the third and fourth place. Danny Slater trying to find his way through as Graham Godwin's gone through in the second place. It's still 69 Richard Worley in third. Danny Slater is in fourth place. That's the top four. David Knowles comes in a press surf and Graham Godwin. And then Knowles sweeps round the eighth on the exit from that top four. Knowles leads it, but Godwin in second. Slater now moves through into third. Well, they get you Worley to fourth place. That's the top four can put in two. Knowles leads him and Goblin in second. It's Slater in third. Wally is in four. One, two, one. Mike Goblin is in fifth place. That's the top five. But Chris Archer holding that sixth place position. Up the back straight there goes David Knowles. Increasing lead now over Goblin in second place. The place is definitely getting closer in third. David Knowles, a wide line on the exit from that pitch corner. Leads him on the four then. Clear of Goblin in second. It's Slater again closing up on Goblin. Looking at second place of Graham Godwin, 1-2-1, one, one. Mike Godwin's now gone through. He's just fourth place, but again, in Rory, the five again, Slater, having to go for that second place, and Danny Slater goes through. In the second place, Godwin again, trying to come back around the outside, and Slater holds the inside line, as David Knowles is. Does he just pick up the winning order, and Slater gets it? Slater gets it! Tremendous drive there by Danny Slater, just pins him along, he's worked his way through. From sixth place, to just take it on the line, super action there from... Danny Slater, he wins it, and David Knowles in second place, Graham Godwin pulls the third place position. Race three results, super win there on the line for number eight, Danny Slater. Second number 64, David Knowles, and third, 1-1-0, Graham Godwin. 1-2-1, 69, 
69, 63, 114, 227. Race 4, delete 139, delete 169. Add in 173, Neil Taylor. 305, Mark Collins. 70, Simon Wary, 54, Ben Isley. Those additions to race number four, another heat of the 250s. But Neil Taylor, as he managed to go again, to the top corner, Collins has gone through. In the second place, that's the top two. They've got the back straight once again, Tom has gone through. And he's going through that second place. Listen, but still, Neil Taylor already with a big lead. Looks like Matt Childers has gone through into the fourth place, looking for that third place position. As a running 250 champion, Neil Taylor is a race leader. It's Jason Stott that's gone through in the second place. Charles has pulled in for the four. Collins off back to five. Platton is in fifth place. Up the top five. They've got the back straight once again. Neil Taylor leads it. Jason Stott in second place to his running champion leads the former champion. Charles has got that third place. That's the top three there. Neil Taylor, well cleared in from Jason Stott in second. It's James Charles in third. Mark Collins has got the third. Matt Classen is in five. That's the top five. Back to back straight once again. It's Neil Taylor. He's leading it on the top in second. He's got a good advantage over Charles in third. He's been pulling away from the fourth place rider. As we see, Neil Taylor then leading on to that four. From Stott in second. It's still Charles in third, with Collins in fourth place. Passing to hold that fifth place. Neil Taylor starting amongst the back markers there. He goes at the back straight. Four weeks for more time in this race number four. The British 250 champion, Neil Taylor, picks up a winning ride in race number four. Neil Taylor wins it. Second place goes to Jason Stott. Third place is James Charles. Fourth place is... Mark Collins. Five is Matt Plasson. And the six and seven place riders across the line are number nine and number 17. Sort of race four then. A win for 173, Neil Taylor. Second, number 94, Jason Stott. And third, number 97, James Child. 305. 196, 9, 70, and 54. Race 5, 350 solos, additions, 222, Jody Hodson, 39, Rob Southwell, and number 5, Chesney King. One non starter, number 7, Andy Mellish. 222, Jody Hodson, 39, Rob Southwell, 5, Chesney King, all additions. On the line then for the first heat of 350 action this afternoon, some real quick 350. Martin Rappel makes a good start. Al Martin Lee's going in that top corner. Jody Hodgson looks like Paul Derrick worked his way to the ghost boot. From third place to second place, and Al Martin Lee's going up the back three. Second place, Martin Rappel in third, with Jody Hobson holding the fourth place position. That's the top four, as Al Mars is the leader then, from Derek in second. It's Rappel in third, it's Hodgson in fourth, Southwell in five, Chesney King is in sixth, Nick Bees in seven, Michael Gosling in eight, that's the top eight, as they go on the back straight, once again, it's Al Mars who leads it then. On the front race of Paul Derek who holds that second place, and Martin Rappel still dominant, grimly hanging on to that third place. There's Martin leads it then from Derek in second. It's Raffle in third. It's Hodgson in four. Southwell in five. King in six. That's Trevor Fletcher. We're bunching up the first four, fifth and sixth places. Al Martin is coming under pressure from Paul Derek. They go up the back straight on lap number three. Raffle now still holds that third place. They're hunting down in Chesney King. Made a big move right round the outside. There's Martin leads him on the fourth. And Derek in second. It's Raffle in third. Kings at the fourth. Southwell now put back in third. Raffle for both two. In the third place. Raffle again back round the outside. And they can't pull the end of that top corner of the shoulder, Martin Rappel now, as they go off the back straight once again, Rob Southall gets back in the equation, and Paul Derrick's getting very close to Al Martin, the front of the race for the line, they're locked together, Al Martin gets it, and Paul Derrick in second, Martin Rappel third, Rob Southall four, Chesney King five, Jody Hodgson six, tremendous action between that top six in the first hit of the 350s, Nick Bees the next world across the line, then Mike Gosling, then Mr Moon, and then Paul Pinfold Jr., Super 350 action, race number five. Race five result to win for number 30, Al Martin. Second, 117, Paul Derrick. And third, number 29, Martin Rattle. 39, 
Super Action Race number 7, the winner number 22, Tim Nobes. Second number 12, Daniel Winterton. And third, number 14, John Jeffries. 297, 47, 186, 37, 461, 53, and 21. Race 8, delete 30, 66, 364, and 82, and 611. Add in 717, Andrew Whitaker. 117, Paul Derrick. 88, Adrian Guest. 187, Kevin Akers. 23, Stephen Taylor. And 46, John Weeks. Those are all additions to race number eight. Sorry to read them so quickly, but you can see they're racing, waiting on the line for the action to start. Where we go then with race number eight, and looking to see who's got the advantage of Cumbar as the first time. It's Lewis Emily, the John Week, second for last, Crofton third, Jamie Rogers has made the best of Star in fourth place, going to the third place. Lewis Emily, third, Jamie Rogers, third, Jamie Rogers, Velasquez goes to the second place. Stephen Taylor holds the fourth place position. Denham leads then for Rogers in second. It's Ashcroft in third. And in the fourth, Derek in five. Weeks in six. Brady Youngman in seven. That's the top seven. They go to that place once again. Jason Handley, it's been virtually 12 months since Jason raced, I think his last meeting was last year's international poacher, and uh, that's only a couple of weeks away, so the club have done remarkably well to get Jason, he's come a long way to race today, it's his first meeting in virtually 12 months, one of the real spectacular sights on the grass track field is number 95, Jason Handley, I hope he won't let me down, he's made a cracking start from the end, so they're going to Jason Handley, the Martin one in a second, different happens in third, they rolled in four, Mike Scalding in five, that's the top five as they go up the back three. Well, he's first on this case, and that's the reason Martin Williams on his tail now as they go in that pitch corner. Four, the first on these two, pulling away from the remainder of the field then. As Handley leads it, Williams trying to cut through on the inside. Handley leads it, and Williams in second. It's fair one has gone for the third. They rolled in four, Dipper Evans in five, that's the top five as they go up the back three. Once again, then two to five, we're in that two, Martin Williams. Trying to get four minutes to Martin Williams. 
Can you let me know where you are, please? Lauren Martin, can you let me know where you are, please? Race number 10, first heat of the 500 sidecars. We've got uh, five outfits. In fact, there should only be four. The Nick Radley leads up and Scott Francis in second place. Looks if Keith Richards has come out in this city corner of my program. We should have been the next heat, Prince. Nick Radley leads going up the last race. 41st one, Andy Foreman in the chair. Scott Francis pushing hard in second place with John Skinner in the chair this afternoon. So Nick Radley leads up and Scott Francis in second place. These two clear of the Dave Carver has got the third, Keith Richards is in fourth place, Steve Hahn in five, so Keith Richards come out in this place to celebrate number 11, but it's Nick Radley leads going up the last plate once again then, but Scott Francis in second place, Keith Richards looking for that third place of Dave Carmel now, as they come by the complete lap number two, Radley leads it then, but Francis in second, it's still Carmel in third, Richards in fourth place, Hahn in five, that's the five, as they go to the last plate once again, Nick Radley and uh, from local crew, Scott Francis and John Skinner there in second place. Dave Carver definitely taking closer order in third as Radley leads him on the full then from Francis in second place. It's still Carver in third. Richards in fourth place. Hine in five. That's the five. And they got the back three. Come on, Hine in race number ten. It's still Dick Radley and Carver. The clear leader was Scott Francis and John Skinner in second place. So outfit number 21. Nick Radley and Andy Colvin get the winning ride from Scott Francis and John Skinner in second place, Dave Carvel and Jonathan Hunt in third, and Steve Hine has gone from the fourth, and Keith Richards obviously problem on that last lap, he picks up the fifth place position. Race 10 result, to win for number 21, Nick Radley and Andy Colvin. Second, number 69, Scott Francis and John Skinner. And third, number 55, Dave Carville and Jonathan Hunt. Three and one, four, three. Right, we will be watering the track after the completion of the first leg of the 1,000cc sidecars. So the track will be watered after race 14, race 14. Oh, 
Away we go then, we're next to the 500 cycle. Chris Soldier making a good start on Morgan. As the opener goes within, Chris Soldier on the inside of the Morgan making a move. Round the outside, bunch up for the minor faces, something behind Chris Soldier. Under the back straight, 40 first on the front, Scott Dunn's on through. Into the third place, pushing Chris Soldier. Still leads the race, Alan Morgan again taking that wide line. Scott Dunn has got through on the inside. Soldier leads him, and Morgan second. Run in third, it's Stuart in fourth place. That's the top four as they go up the back straight once again then. Morgan again making a move round the outside. Trevor Stewart trying to close the gap there in fourth place. Morgan again on the shoulder of Dunn. Good action. Fourth, second, in third place is still Chris Salisbury. Is the race leader then from Scott? And then second, Alan Morgan now gets through. On the inside, Chris Salisbury to go through with the second place. Scott and again retakes. That's second place. Fabulous action. And second and third. Morgan wide on the exit from that top corner. As Salisbury leads you then, then done in second. It's Morgan in third, with Stewart not too far behind in that fourth place position. They move on to four this time, and Salisbury leads it up again on the inside line again. Morgan making the move around the outside of that top corner. He's got round the edge of Scotland, and Scotland has got major issues He's got the hold in that second place. As it is, Chris Salisbury leads going into the pits corner for the more time in race. Number 11, Chris Salisbury picks up the winning ride. Second place goes to Alan Morgan. Travis Stewart gets the third. 101, Gareth Hatton is in fourth place. If he can get that sick bike home. And Scott Dunn's trying to get that sick bike on to pick up some plates as well. Hatton comes across the line there in fourth. And Scott Dunn with that sixth bike will take fifth place. Good action in race number 11, the win for 418, Chris Salisbury. And interesting as passenger, Jim Rowlands, for a long time, a very, very good driver himself. Race number 887, particularly in the Cheshire area. And Jim has come down to passenger Chris this afternoon. And what a good combination that was in race number 11. Second, 156, Alan Morgan and Martin Boyd. And third, number 77, Trevor Stewart and Darren Sargent. 101, 118. Cracking crews in action in race number 12 of the 1,000cc sidecars. Steve Smith, Matt Form Roller, Colin Pardo, Peter Lloyd, Chris Byers and Colin Blackburn. The six outfits on the line then for this first heat of 1,000cc sidecar action this afternoon. Here we go then with the first hit of 1,000cc side correct this afternoon. Steve Smith has made a good start. We'll look at Colin Blackburn work his way through on the inside. He's picked up two riders to lead going into that bottom corner from Peter Lloyd trying to find a way through back through on the inside. There's Colin Blackburn leaving Peter Lloyd in second place. These two locked together. Steve Smith making a move around the outside. But absolutely locked together. Peter Lloyd has got through on the of Colin Blackburn. Colin Blackburn again trying to get back around the outside. Super 1,000cc side correction. Peter Lloyd again on the inside line forces. Colin Blackburn right around the outside. Sorry, now Steve Smith comes in the equation as well. As Lloyd leads him and Blackburn in second. It's Smith in third. Former owners in fourth place. That's the top four. As they go to the back straight once again, then still Lloyd leads them, but Blackburn in second. Smith has got the third. Matt Former owners in four. Colin Pardo is in five. That's the top five. As they make their way into the bottom corner once again, bunching up again for the first three places. But it's still Peter Lloyd then with the advantage of And Colin Blackburn in second place. Steve Smith in third. Matt Former owners in four. Colin Pardo in five. Chris Spars in six, and then up and down the back straight on lap number four. And Steve Smith making a move now. He's on the shoulder of Colin Blackboard as they go in that top corner. 40 for the time. Peter Lloyd has the advantage. But Colin Blackboard in second. Steve Smith trying to find their way through on the inside. Peter Lloyd gets it. But Colin Blackboard in second. Steve Smith gets the third. Matt Form Rollers in four. Colin Pardo in five. Chris Spars in sixth place. Super 1000cc sidecar action, race number 12, kindly sponsored by Bill Banks, a win for number 4, Peter Lloyd and Nick Wilson. Second number 25, Colin Blackburn and Paul Whiteland Jr. on that brand new machine. And third number 2, Steve Smith and Carl Pugh. 5, 16 and number 6. Yeah, a bit of a bang. Yeah, they come to visit the hill, I didn't they? I remember, I remember going to it. Uh, I've been there once or twice. Before.
On the line then for race number 14, another heap of 1,000 sidecars. It looks like Rick McCauley and Terry Madley have run absolute flyer there from the start. They go into that bottom corner, 41st on Rob Bradley drops into that third place position. It's Rick McCauley who leads to Ryan Parker in second place. Matt Terrell has gone to the third. Rob Bradley surprised you back in fourth place. They go into that pitch corner on the opening lap. They're really bunching up for all the places. But Rick McCauley and Terry Madley have stolen the march in the front. Matt Terrell has now gone through into that second place position. Rob Bradley trying to find his way through as Ryan Park has gone wide on the exit from that top turn. It's McCauley who leads him and Terrell in second. It's Parfridge in third, but Bradley now goes from that third place when they get in Parfridge the four. That's the top four as they go to the back straight once again then. It's still Rick McCauley. It's Matt Terrell hunting, hunting him down now as they move into that turf bottom bend once again. Rick McCauley and Terry Madley with the advantage. But Matt Terrell and Sean Yates in second place trying to squeeze through on the inside. Rob Bradley consolidates that third again. Matt Terrell almost got through on the inside. Rick McCauley as they go to the back straight once again. McCauley leads him, but Terrell again closes the gap on the end feet to that to bottom corner. The Corley run the mid track position. Matt Tittle trying to find a way through on the inside. But the call is leaving no gap. Rick McCauley gets a winning ride. Matt Tittle gets a second. Rob Bradley in third. Ryan Parfit in four. Andy Cosser in five. And Paul Prest in sixth place. I don't know where the finish is. Up there, is it? The finish is just there where that white. Race 14, sponsored by Bill Bates, another heat of the 1,000 sidecars. They went for number 51, Rick McCauley and Terry Madley. Second, number 69, Matt Terrell and Sean Yates. And third, number 87, Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson. 514, 73 and 49. On the line then for race number 15, another heat, 375. So away we go with the start of the second leg of the 375. John Chalmers on lead, but Rob Fortune goes through on the inside. It's Neil Waddup holding that third place fish, and that's the top fish to go. Off the back straight for the first time. Rob Fortune is on the line. Second place was like Calvin Palmer gone through into the third place position. At the pitch corner then, and it is Rob Fortune leads it. And John Chalmers on in second place. Calvin Palmer's gone to the third. Neil Waddup is in four, Mark Phillips in five, Phil Crest one in six, that's the six, they go off the back straight once again then. Rob Ford looks to make it two and a two and then he's going to Calvin Palmer starting to close upon John Charmadine in that race for second and third positions as Fortune leads on the last lap this time then from Charmadine in second, Palmer again trying to find a way through on the inch of Charmadine, just hangs on to second place, Waddup in third, still left, left for Fortune. Fifth place, but it's ridiculous. Rob Fortune leads coming out of that pits corner. 40 for more time. He picks up the victory in race number 10. Rob Fortune wins it tight for second and third. It's just, I think, uh, Mr. Palmer has gone through ahead of John Shalmadine. Then Neil Wallops, then Phil Cresswell, and finally it's Mark Phillips. Race 15 result, sponsored by Jeff Mann, a win for number 10, Rob Fortune. Second, 2-2-6, Calvin Palmer. And third, number 42, John Shalmadine. 2-0-4, 1-0-5, and number 20. On the line then for race 16, another heat, the pre-75s, again kindly sponsored by Jeff Mann. Away then with race number 16, then we're looking for Dave Norris to make a good start. General Shaw's gone with him. Kenny Blay missed his first eight out this time. Tim Kernel, the action in Goodrich making a big sweep round the outside. They got the back straight the first time with General Shaw. the pits corner for the first time. General Shortledge and Tim Kurnock in second is Dave Norris in third. These three pulling away from Kenny Blaine who holds the fourth place vision. Number 70 to 50 and Gutford in six. That's the top six. They go up the back straight once again. Still Gerald Shortledge and Tim Kurnock trying to find a way through on the inside. Dave Norris 
17 on the line. Oh, and somebody loops out of the start there in a spectacular way on the line. The racing continue. It's James Charles lead for number 69 gone through in the second place as Witcher War has gone through into that second place. Bishop Red Flags are out. Red Flags are out. Rather injured on the line there. Front wheel rod up in front of his face and uh, looks to be okay at the start line there. So that one obviously stopped in the interest of safety. That is race 17 of the 250 solos. Restart then of race number 17, this heat of the 250 solo. Again, Charles makes a good start. David Knowles has gone with him. 6-0 Richard Warry has got the third place at the top three as they got the back straight for the first time. It's Charles Mason and Knowles and Warry. The first place on the his way to be able to go through into that third place. He goes through into third place. As Charles leads it then, but Knowles holding the second place position. Completing that one, Charles leads it, but Knowles in second. Goldman in third, Warley in four, Isley in five. The other Goldman is in six. Up the top six, they got the back straight once again. Charles will lead over David Knowles there in the second place position. Goldman in that third place. Hit the fifth corner then on lap number two. Last that flag out then for James Charles. The race leader then from David Knowles to the inside second. Great Goldman in third, Warley in third, Isley in fourth, Charles in fourth, Goldman in fifth, Warley in sixth, Charles in sixth, David Knowles still there in second. Graham Goldman in third, Warley is in fourth. Goldman in five, I lead in six, that's still the top six. It's James Charles, but we're still in the David Norton, they go in six, six, four, and 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 Race 17 then, the win for number 97, James Child. Second, number 64, David Knowles. And third, 110, Graham Godwin. 121, 69, 54, and 63. On the run end, full race, 18 in the heat of the 250 solo. Neil Taylor making a good start. Mark Collins has gone with me two locked together. Danny Slater has got the third. Matt, Matt Class is in fourth place. Up the top four to go. Up the back straight in fourth. First time then, here's Neil Taylor. What a good lead. Jordy Bill Collins holds that second place with Slater holding the third as they move into the pitch corner for the first time. And Neil Taylor leads him. And Collins in second. Slater is in third. Jason Stott is in fourth. Matt Classen is in five. That's the top five. Chris Archer is six. Number seven is Donald Willie. Seven, that's the top seven is Neil Taylor. Leeds going into that pitch corner once again. Trying to stop there for second and third. And Danny Slater making a move around the edge of Collins to get that second place. As Taylor leads him on the last lap. Collins on the inside. Slater making a move back around the outside. Good stop first, second and third place. He's back past the top two. In the fourth leg and Jason's not the five. Danny Slater has got around the edge of Mark Collins to go through into that second place position. 
as the running British 250 champion Neil Taylor makes it 2-2 two to two in the heats of these 250s. Second place, a good ride again from Danny Slater. He gets a second. Mark Collins gets a third. Matt Parson is in four. Jason Stoff is in five. Uh, followed by number 70, Simon Waring, and 114, Chris Archer. Race 18 result to win for 173, Neil Taylor. <clears throat> Second number 8, Danny Slater. And third, 305. Mark Collins, 196, 94, 70, 114. Race 19 on the line then, second leg, heat one, 350 solos. Oh, there we go, everybody makes a clean start. Looks like Barry Powell's made a good start for the inside. Mark Taylor on his shot. Lee Gain Lee's going in that top corner for the first time. Mark Taylor slides from the inside. Barry Powell goes to it in second place. Lee Gain is And it's Mark Taylor Lee that come to complete the opening lap there. Mark Taylor Lee's been Barry Powell there in second place. It's Lee Gaiden who has got the third place. Chesney King is in fourth. Phillips in five. Never more than six. Almar in seven. Of course, one of the first things. Bobby Green is way back in seventh place. Moment start to work his way through the field. As Mark Taylor Lee is left in the corner. Bob lap number two moves on to his last lap this time. Mark Taylor Lee is in Barry Powell there in second place. It's Lee Gaiden who's got the third. And Chesney King in fourth. Al Martin worked his way to finish on to the fifth place. He's picked up three places on that second lap of Lena Mark Taylor Lee took the last place. Thirty four time. It's still Powell in second with Gaines in third. It's King in fourth. Martin in five. That's the top five is Mark Taylor. It is who gets the winning ride. Second place goes to Barry Powell. Third place is Lee Gaines. Fourth place is uh, Chesney King. And Al Martin's got bike from the lost that fifth place. Stephen Morda's next one across the line, followed by 278 at Simon Phillips. And Al Martin pushing to get crucial points as 99 comes across the line. Then Al Martin, then 103, and finally it's number 10. Race 19 result to win for 170, Mark Taylor. Second number 82, Barry Powell. And third, 116, Lee Gaiden. Five. Eight, two seven eight, ninety nine, thirty, one oh three, and number ten. And we go to race number twenty then, another heat, three fifty solos. Interline then for race number twenty, another heat of the three fifty solos. Way to a clean break, and who's going to make the start? They come by, it's Martin Rath who leads, they come by, it's the first time then. And looks like Richard Knight gone to the second place, Ian Goodrich taking a wide line around the outside, can well pick up a few places, going up that back, they look beautiful. First time, Martin Rath leads, Richard Knight in second, Ian Goodrich winning about 10 places, in third place on the shoulder leader, as Richard Knight goes through on the inter of Martin Rath for the lead, completing the other lap, red flag, red flags are out. Red flags are out, rolling down over on that far side. Right, we're finally getting ready then for the restart of race 20. Second leg, second heat. 
350 solos. And where we go then, everybody makes a clean start. This time there's somebody lifting out of the start and it's uh, Michael Faulkner leads over in that top corner. Martin Ruffell's got the second place. Rob Sowell in for this fight. They're in that top corner again. Ian Goodwin taking a long way around. He has got again. in race 21, what a quality heat that was, a win for number 83 for Lashcroft, second number 95 Jason Handley and third number 14 John Jeffries, 25, 23, 22, 297, 301, 225. Where are we on then? Race number 22, number eight of the 500 solos. And it's Lewis and Megan, a good start. Dave Doris got in, Jamie Rodgers up the third place. Different happens to Dave Rollins. Dave Rollins falls on the entry to that top corner. There's Lewis Tenham leads going up the back of the first one. Another flag's around. Another flag's around. At the moment, Lewis Tenham leads up. And Jamie Rodgers is second. Looking past him. William's starting to work his way to 50 minute dreadful start. He's up to fourth place at the moment. There's Denham leads it then from Rogers in second. It's Dunham in third. Williams in fourth. Thomas in five. Evans in sixth. Whitaker in seventh. That's the seventh. 
Keith Richards in second place. It's still Scott Dunn in third, with Dave Carville in fourth. Start the close on Keith Richards. Good race start developed there for second and third. Keith Richards holds on that second place on the entry to the pits corner on the final lap as Trevor Stewart gets the winning ride. Second place, I think, just went to Keith Richards, but that was very close indeed. Third place, fourth place is Dave Carville. Race 24, and they win for number 77, Trevor Stewart and Darren Sargent. Second, 143. Should have actually been in the next race, but he's coming in that one. That's Keith Richards and Michael Stott, Stout. Third place, 118, Scott Dunn and Craig Matheson. Fourth place, number 55. Race 25, Steve Pines, passenger Kim Greatrix, Jim Rowlands will passenger Chris Salisbury. I hope it's coming out then for race 25, the second leg, second heat of the 500 sidecars. Rubbing up on the line then for race number 25. Looks we've got to find out if it's out this time. And it's Nick Radley making a good start. But Scott Pants has made a better one. Scott Pants at least in that bottom corner. Knocks it up sideways. Nick Radley goes through on the inside. And Chris Salisbury follows him through. He goes through. He's around on that bottom corner. So left with four outfits now as they go in the pits corner. And for the first time, it's Nick Radley. Impressive winner first of the to see of the 500 sidecars from Chris Salisbury. Holding that second place. It's... Uh, Scott Francis in third, with 101 Gareth Hutton in fourth place. That's the top of the go to the back straight once again. It's Nick Bradley and Andy Colvin. Chris Salisbury and Jim Rollins trying to close the gap there in second place. Scott Francis getting closer in third as Nick Bradley looks behind him. He leads him on the last lap this time then from Chris Salisbury in second. It's definitely Scott Francis getting closer in that third place position. Chris Salisbury grimly hanging on to that second place. Scott Francis trying to close the gap in third. Nick Bradley leads into the pits corner for the final time in race number 25. That's two to two in the heats of the 500 side cars for Nick Radley. Chris Salisbury gets another good second place. Scott Francis gets a third. Garrett Hatton comes across the line in fourth place. Race 25 result to win for number 21, Nick Radley and Andy Colvin. Second of 418, Chris Salisbury and Jim Rowlands. And third, number 69, Scott Francis and John Skinner. Four, 101. Race 26, start of the 1,000cc sidecars, kindly sponsored by Biddle Base. Race 26, then coming into line, 1,000cc sidecars. Peter Lloyd won her first time out. Rick McCauley got a winning ride. Colin Blackburn, Rob Bradley, some real quick crews. Race in this race, number 26. Moving up on the line. Away they go. It looks as if uh, Peter Lloyd's been a cracking starting. I think that's Rick McCauley has gone with him. Colin Blackmore holds the third. Rob Bradley back in fourth place to go. Into that bottom corner for the first time. Rick McCauley finding a way through. On the inside. So it's all going over there on that bottom corner. Rick McCauley leads him to Rob Bradley. Second, Colin Blackmore has got a third. Looks like Peter Lloyd and Terry Madden have gone over on that bottom corner. Red flags are out. Red flags are out. Peter Lloyd and Terry Madley, they made a cracking start again from the start, but something happened on the entry to that uh, bottom corner. And the outfit looks if uh, one of them's up OK. Of course, it's uh, Nick Wilson behind uh, Peter Lloyd these days, not Terry Madley, but Rick McCauley and Terry Madley were the race leaders. Peter Lloyd and uh, Nick Wilson down on that bottom corner. Let's hope they are going to be uh, OK. Bradley, Colin Blackmore, Rick McCauley, Peter Lloyd. Nobody was going to give an inch there. And let's hope that they're all going to be uh, 
okay. And good to see that both uh, Peter Lloyd and Nick Wilson are up there after that spill on the entry to that to top bend. Red flags out immediately, but good to see both riders looking to be okay. Right, race 26, restart, coming back into line. Let's hope they can get around that first corner without any instance. Pure racing action, of course, on that to first corner four. Quick out, it's all going for the same middle bit of ground. Again, it's yeah, a big Lloyd making a good start. Rip McCauley has gone with him. Colin Blackmore making a line through on the inside. Rob Bradley holds the fourth place. Rip McCauley leads. He's largely really wanted somebody's come from the inside. What a ride by Peter Lloyd. And Rob Bradley's turning around in a big circle on the entry from that corner. Peter Lloyd has come for absolutely nowhere to lead it from Colin Blackmore in second. It's Colin Parsons coming back through. Rip McCauley leads. He's largely really wanted somebody's come from the inside. What a ride by Peter Lloyd. And Rob Bradley's turning around in a big circle on the entry from that corner. Peter Lloyd has come for absolutely nowhere to lead it that's the top three as they go in the back straight once again. Rob Bradley completely turning round and he's got a lot to do now. He's back in sixth place. They go into that bottom corner once again. It's Peter Lloyd who leads it then from uh, Colin Blackburn holding that second place. Colin Pardo's got the third. We're Rick McCauley in fourth place. Steph Fly is in five. Rob Bradley in six. They move to the back straight once again. It's still Peter Lloyd then with the advantage. Looking to make it two to two in the heat of the 1,000cc sidecars. Nick Wilson, of course, in the chair from Colin Blackburn and Paul Whiteham Jr. Checkered flag is out. Peter Lloyd gets the one in right. Colin Blackburn gets the second. Colin Parra, good ride to get the third. Stephen Blyers in fourth. Rick McCauley in five. Rob Bradley in sixth place. Race 26. A win for number four, Peter Lloyd and Nick Wilson. Second, number 25, Colin Blackburn and Paul Whiteham Jr. And third, number 16, Colin Pardo and Carl Miles. 30, 51, 87. Change in race number 27, de delete number three, Andy Gribble and Dave Williams. Put in number 73, Andy Cosser with Paul Roberts in the chair. Right, obviously the interval after race 28 has been scrapped. There will be an interval after race 39. The interval will take place after race 39. The interval pl planned after race 28 has been scrapped because we've already had one short interval. We will go straight on to race 39 before we have an interval. Can we please have riders getting ready in the pits boxes? for race 28, 29 and 30. Thank you. Where we go then with this heat of the 1,000cc sidecars. Rod Winderburn again, making an absolutely cracking start. Looks like Chris Winderburn is the outfit that goes with him. Somebody trying to get through on the inside of Chris Winderburn as they move. Into that bottom corner for the first time. Rod Winderburn leads it, but Chris Winderburn is in second place. Chris Mars has got the third. That's the top three as they make their way into that pits corner once again. Rod Winderburn, Gareth Winderburn pull away there from Chris Winderburn holding the second. Looks like Mark Costas found their way through on the inside of that pits corner to go through. Into the third place position, but the two Winterburns have it at the moment. It's Rod who leads from Chris, and they move on to final lap this time. Mark Costa has got the third place. Andy Costa is in four. Chris Spars in five. Fred Skinner in six. As they go in the back straight, once again, looks like two to two. Coming up for Rod and Gareth Winterbourne. They lead into the bottom corner for the final time. Then Rod and Gareth Winterbourne lead from Chris Winterbourne in second. Mark Costa has got the third. Two to two for Rod Winterbourne. He wins it. Second is Chris Winterburn. Third place goes to Mark Cosser. Andy Cosser gets the four. Fred Skinner's up the five. Chris Spars in sixth place. Race 27, sponsored by Bill Bates to win for number 48, Rod and Gareth Winterburn. Second, number 46, Chris Winterburn. It's Liam Brown in the chair, not Jamie Laurie. Liam Brown is in the chair with Chris Winterburn. Third place goes to Mark Cosser with Tris Winterburn in the chair. 73. 228 and number six. Yeah, we, 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 Assembling then for race 28, another cracking heat map for Marola Matero, Steve Smith. Should be the outfits to watch Paul, Paul Ryan Parvage have another good opening ride. Paul Downs and Paul Prest are the outfits for race number 28. Paul Downs having a job getting started over on that far side of the track there for race number 28, the uh, heat three of the second leg of the thousand chairs.
number 28 away they go Steve Smith making a good start from the into the grid Matt Terrell goes to the Ryan Farm it's got the first place Matt Paul Rose in fourth place at the top four they go into the bottom corner on the opening lap and somebody turned completely around looks like Matt Terrell has turned completely around there as Steve Smith leads it for Matt Paul Rose in second Ryan Farm in third Paul Press in fourth Downs in five Matt Terrell pulls off the middle of the track it's a long drive up and call and doesn't look like score any points in this second leg of the 1000 cc sidecars as Steve Smith is a race leader then as they move on to start the last lap this time Steve Smith leads him a Matt form roll in second Ryan Parfit has got the third Paul Preston four Scott four downs in five that's a five little bit spread out now in race number 28 is Steve Smith leads going to the back straight then for the final time the former master champion Steve Smith picks up his first winning ride of the afternoon Steve Smith wins it Matt form roll a much better ride this time gets the second place Ryan Partridge comes across the line in third. Paul Press is in fourth. And Paul Downs in fifth place. Race 28,000cc sidecars. Win for number two, Steve Smith and Carl Pugh. Second number five, Matt Formarola and Andy Wilson. And third, 514, Ryan Partridge and Anthony Grant. 49 and 44. Program changes for race 29, delete 2, 105 will be Phil Cresswell. Delete 32, and add in 726, Tim Kernock. Race 30, delete 364, add in 226, Calvin Palmer, and 187, Kevin Akers. And then for race 29, third leg 375s again kindly sponsored by Jeff Mann. Up for the tape, so away they go. Looking for General Short from the outside to make a good start. Dave Norris is on his shoulder. Rob Fortune gets running to Dave Norris. There's General Short leading that bottom corner for the first time. Rob Fortune, second Dave Norris in third. And Rob Fortune turns it round in the circle on the exit from that bottom corner. All the riders do very well indeed. To get by the fall in Rob Fortune. A short lead to them for Norris in second place. It looks like Bruce had he gone through into third place. Yes, it is, with the Tom Cresswell in fourth. Kim Tim Kernock and in five. That's the top five, Rob Fortune. Gets the only and looks quite a bit nasty fall there for Rob Fortune. Not going to in the back of the field. So Dave Norris as General Short leads into that pits corner once again. It's still Dave Norris holding that second place. Last lap then for Short, he leads it, but Norris in second. Eddie is in third, Cresswell in fourth, Kernock in five, Phillips in six. That's the six, they've got the back straight once again. We've got Rob Fortune coasting the back of the field as General Short leads into that pits corner for the comes on Dave Norris, trying to close the gap there in second place, but Gerald Short gets the winning ride. Second place goes to Dave Norris. Bruce Eddie picks up the third place mission. Phil Cresswell in four, Tim Kernock in five, Mark Phillips in sixth place. Race 29 results, sponsored by Jeff Mann, a win for number 27, Gerald Short. Second number 17, Dave Norris. And third number 17, Bruce Eddy. 105, 726. 20 and number 10. Race 30, pre 75, another heat sponsored by Jeff Mann. Where we go in with the race number 30, another heat of the pre 75s, and it is Kenny Blaney Lee's going to follow for Calvin Farmer. Has gone through in second place. John Sharman on follows him to Ian Good, but you get that familiar line right round the outside. That's two. First part for the first time, then there's Kenny Blaine as leader, but John Shalmadine holding that second place. It's Calvin Palmer in third. Blaine leads him, and Shalmadine in second. Palmer in third. Waddles up to fourth, then. Guthridge in five. Jones in sixth. 
Acres in seven, up to seven as they go up the back straight once again. Kenny Blake, you're three by looking over John Kelman on his second place. Palmer's got that third. We're near one ups in fourth place. Ian Goodbridge and Jeff Jones shoulder to shoulder for fifth and sixth places. They're on the last lap this time then. Blaine still the leader, but Shalman Island in second. Palmer in third. What have been four? Guthridge five. Jones six. Acres in seven. That's still the seven. And they make their way up the last straight once again. Still Kenny Blaine leading. John Shalman Island in second. On the outside of that fifth corner, on the final lap, Blaine on the inside. Shalman Island goes wide, cuts back for the inside line. Will he get the run to the chequered flag? It's just, I think it's just John Shalman Island, but Kenny Blaine in second. Palm in third, one of him four, Guthridge five, Jones six, Acres in seventh place. Race 30, sponsored by Jeff Mann. A win for number 42, John Shalman Island, just on the line. Second number 217, Kenny Blaine. And third, 226, Calvin Palmer. 204, 174, 52, 187. Race 31, delete 139 and 169. And number one, add in 121, Mike Godwin. 227, Stephen Palmer. 173, Neil Taylor. 69, Richard Warrior. Away we go. And it is Mark Neil Taylor making a good start. David Knowles goes with him. Jason Osborne's from the third place. That's the top three. They enter the uh, bottom corner on the other side. Look, he's got a four there. Danny Taylor's corner were holding that fourth place position. As Neil Taylor looking at three to three in the heat on the 250 solo. Neil Taylor is the race to the end. So David Knowles holding that second place. It's still Jason Osborne in third. 69 Richard Warry is in fourth place. So you look at his face on that bottom there. Second, number 64, David Knowles. And third, number 69, Richard Worry. Nine, one, two, one, two, two, seven. Race 32, Chris Archer is number 114. Add in, 54, Ben Isley. 70, Simon Worry. And 305, Mark Collins. All additions to race 32. Well, we go then with race number 32, another heat of the two for the Jason Stock. Making a good start, James Charles over there, Mark Collins, the three of us. Going into that top corner, 41st Charles Charles on the inside stop, trying to get away around the outside. Back to the third place, into the third place, into the round off, which follows him through the four, looking at that third place of Matt Plastner. Gets on into Plastner, go through into third place as Charles leads it there, but stopped in second. Graham Godwin holds the third place, hand in the air, he's got right for us, Mark Collins. And Matt Plasson now racing out for third and fourth place as Collins gets through in the third. Well, they're getting Plasson to four as Charles well cleared the front. The white one is Jason Scott holding that second place pitch. And Collins locks up and Plasson retakes that third place on the entry to that pitch corner. On the last lap they go. James Charles a race leader from Jason Stott in second. It's Matt Plasson in third. Mark Collins in four. Ben Isley is in five. Chris Archer in six. That's the top six. They go up the back straight. Four to come on time. It's James Charles, Wellington, Thor, and Race. Number 32, Jason Stott. Trying to close the gap there in second place. Good start. They ain't going off that third and fourth position. As James Charles wins it from Jason Stott in second. It's going to be tight for third and fourth. It's just, I think, Matt Classen from Mark Collins. Then we've got Ben Isley. Then we've got Chris Archer. And the final rider across the line, number 70, Simon Worry. Race 32 result. The win for number 97, James Child. Second number 94, Jason Stott. 
and third, 196, Matt Classen. 305, 54, 114, number 70.